y'all. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are on for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified, guys. So listen, we getting right on into this basket making video. I'm on my way out of town, guys, but I wanted to give you a quick video before I leave. So I'm going to make it quick and simple, y'all. We have a container here that we got from Dollar Tree quite some time back. Um, and it was some I had left over. So we're gonna use it. We've already put newspaper in the bottom of our basket as we always do. We have to give our baskets a sturdy foundation to build upon. So with that being said, guys, what? We never use shrink wrap, um, not shrink wrap. We never use, uh, what you call it, the shred, get shred. Um, to build our basket with. It's not gonna hold the items up. Everything is gonna sink down and it's not gonna look professional now, okay? Anybody can make a basket, but it takes the boss to make a professional basket, okay? And that's what we wanna do. We don't wanna just be making money, but we wanna have a professional groomed and polished look to our gifts or whatever we sell. Cake, pies, whatever it is, you wanna put your all in all into it. You don't want to just sell it because people will buy it. You want to sell it because it's actually a good product, okay? So we've gotten that done. And the basket that we're going to be making today is going to be um, um, grooming and chilling basket. It's going to be chill and groom, okay? And so I'm not going to wrap it up because I'm going to put, um, I think I'm going to put chilling and grooming or something to that effect. Since, um... A lot of the baskets and different things we've been seeing is saying chilling and grilling. Um, if not everybody grills, okay? Some people like to groom themselves. Some people like to relax. Some men, rather, um, like to chill. Some like to relax, okay? So we're going to be doing chilling and grooming, chilling and grilling, chilling and relaxing. So we're going to be doing different baskets like that um, for Father's Day, guys. So I'm going to not wrap this basket up. Because when I get back home, I'm going to make a decal with my cricket that you guys see over there in the corner. Okay, so let's get right on into it. Here we have some men's slides, house shoes that I got from Dollar General. I think I paid $240. they are actually cheaper than that now if you find some items. Let me see where my tag is. I just put it off. Here it goes. Yeah. You find some blue or gray dye items. I think they're now 90% off, I want to say. I think. Look for those items, guys. So we're gonna be look, we're gonna be using these. And like I said, they were 240. And by the time I wrap this basket up, y'all, I'll probably be then changed it around and did some different little things to it. But I'm just trying, like I said, to spit the videos out and also get it done before I leave to go out of town, okay? It's a win-win. It's a win for y'all, it's a win for me. You get ideas, I get a video up, okay? Y'all know I like to have a backing for my items to hold up on. So I'm probably either gonna put a piece of, um, not styrofoam, uh, foam board or something back here to the back to hold these up, okay? Because I don't like my stuff just flopping all around, okay? So here we have a cologne set where I got from, um, City Trends, okay? I got from City Trends, and I'm gonna clean that off with some alcohol, okay? We don't have time to do that today. We're gonna clean that with some alcohol. And I don't want y'all to think I'm just throwing this video together, but I do want to make it quick and to the point, okay? Just to give you some ideas of some things that you can do, okay? Let's put this back here to the back. And when I add the phone board to it, I will show you guys how to do that so that you'll have something for that to stand up on. Or you can simply use the skewer method, okay? and just put the um, skewers up there and that will help hold it as well, okay? And it'll, it'll help hold it and it'll give it some height, okay? That, that's really what we're looking for right now, is height and stability. 
see that works a little better putting them on the outside there. This you see it says ten dollars, but I only paid a dollar for it after Christmas Dollar General, ninety percent off. So we're gonna add this in here as part of the grooming as well. Because most men that groom themselves, they gotta shave y'all. They gotta look good. So we're gonna definitely probably cover that up. We're gonna find something to cover that up. Some kind of little sticker or something. Y'all, I love this. The Epic Beard Game, okay? I paid $149. This was like $14, I believe, at um, Ross. Y'all make sure you check Ross for little side items like this. Um, they definitely have some great items. So if he's gonna be grooming himself, more than likely he's a man that really is attentive to his beard. So we wanna put the beard game in there. And you see how I got to, I'm, I'm going to fix this, okay? Because we're not going to do nothing tacky. I'm going to make that stand up. Here I have some bath soap, selfish bath soap that I got. It's Vitamin Boost Complex. I got this from TJ Maxx on clearance for $1, y'all. I'm going to stick that right there. Then I have this um, Curly for Men Shave Cream. And I got that on clearance for a dollar at TJ Maxx as well. So make sure TJ Maxx, Ross, all those stores go to the. That works. Me. Okay, that's cute already. What y'all think? Cute and simple. You have a um, shaving kit here. Right, you got two handles, 12 cartridges, you got the soap, you got the shave cream, you got the beard game, you got the cologne, body wash back here, lotion, look, you got the slippers. So like I said, I'm not gonna wrap it up, but give me a moment, we're gonna put some shred in the front, we're gonna make the bow and show you what it's gonna look like when it's complete. Okay, y'all, so we went ahead and did the skewer method where we just put the skewers here and taped it to the back, okay? And we're just gonna go ahead and stick it down into our newspaper, y'all. And I don't know if y'all remember me mentioning it on one of them anymore. Ready to put the shred across the front. And when you do it that way, you use less shred. You don't need to put shred all over the top of where you put the gift wrapping paper. After you do the newspaper and then the gift wrap, you do not need to lay shred all over it and then put your stuff. You only need to put shred in the split in the spaces where there are holes. There, okay. Thank me later. Your pocketbook will thank me. Your profits will thank me because you will definitely make more money by doing it that way. We want this to go behind there. Okay. I kept the band on the shoes and that's actually helping secure the, um, the band on the shoes is helping secure the um, cologne set as well. All right, there we go, finally. Wherever I got those screws from, I'm gonna make sure I don't get no more of them. So there we go, y'all. What y'all think? Cute, simple, and to the point. I'm gonna put some more paper up here, of course, to hide the blue tape that I added, and also to um, hide the skewers in the back. Gonna take that 
you definitely will get to see the completed look once we are um, all done. And of course, I teach you guys to go in and take your items. Let me show you in case you're new following me. You can use glue dots or you can simply use transparent tape. And you're just going in and you are securing items one to the other, okay? Most of the time you shrink wrap, so it's gonna it's gonna already be secured anyway. But you want to keep your items from you want to keep your items from shifting um, while you're shrinking it, or after you finish shrinking it, you want to give it as much support as possible. Okay. So we have everything sturdy and taped to each other. There we go. And we're gonna do the bow real quick, y'all. And we're gonna use this to pull all the colors in together. Make your loop. Leave your little tail out, however long or short you want, leave your tail out. Pinch it in the middle. Twist it. Make another loop the same size. Twist it. Just keep making the loops the same way and take your pointer finger, hold it together, and then take the other pointer finger and the thumb, and that's what you twist with, okay? You make you another loop, grab it with your pointer finger, pointer finger and thumb, twist, pointer finger, pointer finger, right here, it's under here, right? You take, you going these two fingers and this finger is basically all the fingers you're going to use. Of course, you're going to use the thumb to hold the grip, okay, where the loops are, but these are your main two working fingers. You holding them there. These are two working fingers here. You're never using these three fingers. These two fingers, okay? Trigger fingers. All right? <laughs> okay, loop. You see that finger already there. I'm gonna take these, push it into there, all right? Same two. Twist. Only time you're gonna be using these fingers, you know, I didn't even realize I'd be using them, but the only time you use these fingers are when you pushing it out like that to help form the loop. It's just gonna hold it out to help form the loop. And you come back in and you use this, okay? Twist and loop. And I tell you guys that I normally don't make big bows for me and baskets, but if it's a really big, nice basket that I'm gonna charge a lot for, then I will make the bow a little bit bigger, okay? But for the most part, we don't have to do big, fancy, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Men normally don't want that, okay? We're using the twine from Dollar Tree just to help Finish off the masculine look. But I actually like twine. It don't, it's not necessarily masculine. It just gives it a natural look and I absolutely love that. And we're gonna double tie it just to make sure it's tight. And guys, when we get ready to wrap it, we're just gonna pull our bow apart like this, okay? And you'll be able to see it shape more better once we get it on the um on the on the shrink wrap. Okay. My bows, we always come and duct tail them on the end. If you don't want to duct tail, at least make sure they're straight, guys. Do not have the end of your bows raggy. Raggedy. Raggly. However you say it. If you're from the country, you just say raggly. We ain't gonna have it raggedy, okay? But the word is really raggedy. That's what we do to give it a nice professional look on the end, okay? So guys, you see what it's gonna look like when it's done? Cute, huh? 
really, really cute. And when I put the decal on the front and shrink wrap it, I'll come back and give you guys a finished look. Okay, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. And bam, you'll be notified when I make more great videos like this. Get your money, honey, and feel your bag.